Hey everybody, today I'm working on a 12 by 24 canvas and I was ordering uh, some paints last week and I came across this um, color, it sounded intriguing, iridescent graphite. So I ordered some and it looks really, really cool. It's like a gunmetal. Um, so I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit with that because I don't normally use a, a black or a dark, you know, I mean I use a Payne's gray and I use dark purple, but I stay away from black a lot. So I thought um, I would try this one. Um, anyway, the other colors I'm going to be using, I have um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And then this one here is so pretty. I mixed um, the Liquitex Cadmium Free Red Medium with the um, Liquitex uh, Iridescent White and it turned out really, really nice. I love how it looks. And I have um, Folk Art White Pearl in my bottle that I'm going to be using as well. So I'm going to be um, doing a wandering ring pour per my husband's request. And we'll see how this turns out. All right, so I'm going to get my gloves on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got my gloves on, and I'm ready to get started. I am going to be starting with the um, red in the bottom first. A lot of times I start with the white in the bottom, but this time I'm going to start with the red. And all my colors are mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium, uh, Floetrol, and Water. And if you haven't watched my videos before, my um, pouring medium is 60% Liquitex Pouring Medium, 30% Floetrol, and 10% Water. And I do not have any... Um, silicone in any of my paints. All right, so hopefully this will turn out very, very curious about this one. And I have used, you know, like orange and and like cobalt or turquoise uh, before, and they always turn out so, so pretty. But I haven't really used the, you know, the dark color. I usually use it with a lighter color. So let me get these out of the way and we'll get started here. All right, so you can see I got those colors in there. I'm gonna go ahead and bend it and I'm just going to go ahead and lift my canvas just a little bit and start pouring. Here we go.
Okay guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. I'll take you in for a closer look. I got some cells over here from that pearl white. It looks really, really kind of cool. I like that. And then these colors really blended quite beautifully. The graphite kind of um, blended in quite a bit more down at this end. I got some really cool detail right through the middle there. And then you can see there's a little bit more of the graphite down here. Not much. And then some more cells up in this corner. But I got some really nice defined lines and quite a bit of movement in this painting. I really, really like it. All right, so I'm going to let it dry and I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's the painting all dry. I'll take you in for a closer look. I love this. I love everything about it. Got some more cells that popped up there. These colors are just beautiful. Love how they blended together. I love the detail in the middle. The movement of this whole piece is is really really nice some more cells in that corner and then I got my one line of iridescent graphite <laughs> the rest kind of kind of got mixed in but that's okay I love this piece I think it turned out amazing all right so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel the link to my website is in the description this one will be listed soon and have a great day